Hi there, I'm Sarah Miga, your go-to real estate expert and associate broker of Miga Homes with Keller Williams. If you're new here and interested in all things real estate, be sure to hit the subscribe button by clicking that little icon in the bottom right-hand corner of the video. I publish videos on a new real estate topic every week and you don't wanna miss anything. Now, it's a go, you own a new home. It's time to start the move process, but this can be overwhelming. So to help you with all the tasks today, we're gonna to provide you with a step-by-step -step checklist for completing a move. So eight weeks prior to your move date, now is the time to start compiling copies of all your records related to your move, including quotes, receipts, tax deductions, furniture purchases, and anything else of importance. In addition, you should have your budget and estimates finalized for all of your move-related expenses. If required, schedule time off work to complete the move. If renting, you should give notice. If you're switching schools, request transcripts from your current school and enroll your kids in the new school. And finally, start looking at items in your current home that you may not want to take to the new house. And determine if you can sell it, donate it, toss it, or keep it. You want to keep track of potential tax deductions. So six weeks prior to the move date. Once you're roughly 45 days out from making your move, you should start doing the following tasks. Take an inventory of all items to be moved, especially noting valuables. Start making travel arrangements, transportation, lodging, route, etc. Notify current and old schools of official dates. Determine required steps for registration. Schedule movers, collect boxes and start packing. Find out if there are restrictions in either location related to moving, truck parking, access or timeframes. Now is the time to start contacting insurance providers to update your records. This includes homeowners, auto, medical, dental. Two to four weeks prior to the move date, now we're in the home stretch. Two to four weeks before your move will be a bit busier as you get closer to actually moving. So you should schedule time to update your driver's license, car registration, and voter's registration. If selling a home, gather together any documents for the new owners of your current home. This includes warranty information, user and instruction manuals, receipts, contacts, etc. You should research and get recommendations for new doctors and dentists. Request, transcript, re request transcripts are transferred. Schedule initial appointments. Have all prescriptions transferred. If you have pets, schedule an appointment with their current vet and request recommendations for the new location. Make sure you have ID tags or a chip on your pets. Request a copy of all their medical records, get necessary medicines, update their records, and so on. If you have small children, schedule daycare or playdates away from your house during the actual move day. Continue to pack items to prepare for the move. Also, back up your computer. One week prior to the move date, it's almost go time. So don't forget the following things. Change your address. This includes subscriptions, banks, loans, credit cards, outstanding deliveries, memberships. Remember to fill out a forwarding address at USPS. Clean your current home. Do any last minute errands or tasks such as pick up dry cleaning and return borrowed items. Pack suitcases with essentials for travel and first night at the new home. Go to the ATM or bank for cash on hand, especially for tips. Notify neighbors about your move. And if moving into a previously owned house, consider having the carpets cleaned before move-in day if possible. You should contact utilities to cancel services at your current location and install services at the new location. This includes gas, electric, cable, internet, and phones. Now on moving day, we finally made it to the big day. So what do you need to do to make it a smooth experience? Consider having bottled water available for all the workers and family members. Check your inventory list with the movers list. Do a final check or walk through the old house or apartment. Look at all closets, cabinets, and corners for forgotten items. If renting, make sure all contractual rules have been handled and the landlord is satisfied. Hand over keys, garage door openers, codes to locks, Provide direction to movers where furniture should go. Clean and wipe down cabinets before storing items. Order out to reduce stress and relax. That's everything. So hopefully this list gives you a quick and easy checklist to make sure you've done everything you need for your move. And if you think you're within a year of making a move to Southeast Michigan, give me a call and set up a consultation today. I create custom moving plans for all of my clients up to a year in advance. And if you're not moving to my service area and I'm not able to personally assist you, don't worry. I'm part of a global real estate company and can find you a similarly qualified agent anywhere in the world. 
So don't delay and reach out to me today. In fact, if you haven't had a chance, please check out another one of my videos on why you should get a realtor referral for an agent when relocating. That will teach you all about how realtor to realtor referrals work and what to expect when you ask me for one. Be sure to subscribe to my channel today and tune in to next week's topic, 10 things to consider before moving to a new state. You can also check out my other series on selling a home, buying and selling simultaneously, buying a home for the first time, new construction, and more. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.